But maybe if you stopped eating fucking dry ass turkey sandwiches. Nexies? Do you really want to see Nexies? They're really not that special. They're like a relic from the time when we were far more desperate than we are now. I mean, they're nice. They're just not that special anymore. I personally want to see no talk. <laughs> Spoken like a true introvert. Thank you for that contribution. <laughs> Aerith feels like, yeah, can I just like go there, touch the keyboards and leave? Thank you. I don't want any human contact. No touching, no talking. I'm literally just here for the boards. Left the hobby and came back to so many new switches. No, it exploded in 2020. We went from having like 10 options and like Gatoron inks and creams being like godlike to like every motherfucker under the sun bringing out their own switch i'm not mad at it i'm just a little like still shell shocked cherry mx blues okay buddy okay buddy okay buddy okay buddy okay buddy no because there's always at least like three boards with cherry mx blues at every meetup i don't want to hear that Everybody thinks they're funny bringing MX Blues to a meetup. You are not original. <laughs> All right. At least make them like jail housed or something. Oh my God. Is that Cinda? Wait, where's your mod, Cinda? Why aren't you modded? What the fuck? Hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what? <laughs> I unironically like blues as you should. I was never modded. That's a lie. There's no way. I'm not that incompetent. Okay, well, you should have a badge now. We should be solid now. Let me know when people bring back the Helios bottles. I'd rather not, to be honest. Can we, like, avoid that? <laughs> that sounds like hell. I watched a mod promotion live on stream. Congrats, you've been inducted. The day I can't mod it is the day stream dies. Is that a threat or a promise? I can't tell, Aiden. <laughs> Not only does every vendor have good switches in stock, seems like the pre-lubing is getting better too. No, I'm kind of fucking hyped for that. I cannot wait until I never have to lube another switch again. Kinda pumped. I put this in backwards. Oh well. I'll fix it later. How was the meetup? I hope all is well. The meetup was so good. I think it's probably one of my faves. No one was stinky. Bonus. Um, everyone was super nice. Um, it was very busy. Uh, but overall, like solid 10 out of 10. No more ads is gonna be heaven. <laughs> Aiden's over here like promoting our subscription for me. I don't even have to do it. If you subscribe now to 8 Theory Keyboards, You'll never have to worry about ads again, and you'll get our cool new emotes, which have been recently updated. Along with that comes a brand new badge. <laughs> Good things, just been working lots. Hey, that's so much better than the alternative. Or at least that's what I tell myself when I get really dizzy. <laughs> like, well, it's either this or being broke and having nothing to do, so take it, you ungrateful bitch. <laughs> to me, not to you, Jams. <laughs> Just sewn up to your favorite show pod. That was like heaven. Oh man. I had the worst air. Okay, did have has Diego gone live since he went to the meetup yet? I don't wanna like tell his story if he hasn't had the opportunity to tell his story. But y'all, Diego had the worst flight experience going home from 
the San Jose meetup. Literally ever. I don't know if he's gone live yet. I I don't want to like take his story, but long story short, his flight got delayed to the point where it got canceled and he had to stay overnight at the airport and then he got shuttled to a different airport, finally sent home. And keep in mind, like Diego flew into San Jose from New York. Like this is a long ass flight. Finally got like flown to home got flown into the wrong airport, which is like way far from where he lives, and had to play it, pay like a shit ton on an Uber to get home. I felt so fucking bad. Yeah, his Instagram account, yeah, no, it was horrible. 